Your second time may not be quite the same as your first. Some people have reported experiencing more side effects when getting their second doses of the Moderna or Pfizer, BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine compared to when they got their first doses. For example, the COVID symptom study website states that after effects are more common the second time around, with around one in five who received their second dose of the Pfizer vaccine logging at least one systemic effect. Indeed, a December 31, 2020, publication in the New England Journal of Medicine had indicated that in the Phase 3 clinical trial of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, side effects that involved more than just the injection site were reported more often after dose 2 than dose 1. A February 4, 2021, publication in the New England Journal of Medicine revealed a similar observation for the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. In this case, the after effects or side effects that they were referring to weren't drastic ones such as growing an extra arm or suddenly liking the musical group Nickelback. Instead, they most commonly were flu-like symptoms like fatigue, headache, chills, and fever. I've covered such side effects previously for Forbes and described how they are typically the result of your immune system responding to what the vaccine generates in your body. The first shot of the COVID-19 vaccine serves as the priming dose. The Moderna and Pfizer, BioNTech COVID-19 vaccines include mRNA, with the M standing for messenger, rather than whatever the M stands for in the song MMM Bop. This mRNA serves as a blueprint for your cells to produce the spike proteins that normally stud the surface of the SARS-CoV-2. Recall that the severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2, looks somewhat like a spiky massage ball or the ball at the end of the mace used in BDSM. Here's a 3D rendering of the virus in the background with the spike protein in the foreground, the only available defenses then would be what's called your innate immunity. In this case, innate doesn't refer to where a sandwich has gone after seeing innate ruse has eaten it. That would be innate. Instead, your innate immune system is the native set of defenses that your body already has against any type of potential invasion. Your innate immunity is very general and not specific to any particular type of invader. It's a bit like when you meet an unknown person for the first time. You may be ready to respond to standard, common issues that you deal with all the time, such as a person not maintaining any eye contact, being a bit standoffish, or asking you if you are related to a famous martial artist for the 2971st time, not that anyone would be counting. However, you may not be prepared for a curveball, something more unusual such as the person asking you a really unexpected question, being excessively nasty, throwing salad greens at you, or showing up wearing nothing but socks.